<laughs> Matt Canada, 88. His question uh, says, uh, when it comes to the, the Donovan Mitchell sweepstakes that will happen in 24-25, there will be no doubt be there will no doubt be a showdown between Altman, which is Cleveland, Pat Riley, Miami Heat, Leon Rose, Sean Marks, the Nets, and Rob Palenka, Lakers. Who has the best possible offer? Where do you think Mitchell wants to go? And who wins Spider in the end? It's three threefold Good question. question. Who has the best possible offer? Knicks, Heat, Nets, Lakers. How would you rank that? I think the Knicks can give the best possible offer. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah. you know, they have the most draft picks, and quite frankly, if it really gets dicey, and I, I don't think the Knicks would want to do this, they can always include Julius Randle in the trade if they want. Mm. And you tell me what player of that caliber those other teams would be able to offer. In it's a true. Trade. It depends what the Hawks want. Because if the Hawks yeah. want to stay competitive. Cavs, Cavs. And, uh, Cavs, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Mobley, Garland, I mean, do you want a bunch of draft picks, or do you want players? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Look at where the Raptors were. A team could have they could have gotten more value in picks, but they wanted players. So I think what it comes down to, CP, is what do the Cavs want? And I'm thinking, at least in my opinion, if you're running the Cavs, do you want a bunch of picks, or do you want players to support Garland and Mobley and Jared Allen? Yeah. So I, I think the Knicks that maybe gives them a little bit of a disadvantage because their strength is is picks right now. Yeah. But I, bigger picture though, is that the guy you go after? And I loved Spider, you know, and I wanted to go after him hard two off seasons ago. Me and you are on the same page on yep, that. Yep. But in a playoff series like we talked about, we just talked about the value of an Ananobi in the playoff series, mm-hmm. right? Defending. And you just talked about the Bucks, right? With their defensive backcourt. Can you win a championship when Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson are both playing 35 to 40 minutes in a playoff series? Yeah. And I know Mitchell's been better defensively this year by all the advanced metrics. They're still both 6 1 guards. Yeah. Yeah. Can you win that way? with two defensive liabilities in the backcourt playing 40 minutes a game in the playoffs? I don't know the answer to that question. Do you? I don't trust it. Um, As a Donovan Mitchell fan, I would love to see it. (laughs) I love (laughs) him. I love him. It's more wishful thinking on my part and more just logically. I just feel like they went after him two years ago. They will have more leverage to get him in this offseason and pay a lesser price. I, that, that's why I just feel like they're going to go for it, man. They're going to oh. roll the dice and, and, and go for the talent over the fit. I think they're doing it. <laughs> I don't get me it. wrong. I, I think, think they're, they're doing, doing it. it. Yeah. But in your best case scenario, same exact trade package, would you rather trade for Jonathan, Donovan Mitchell or Michael Bridges? Bridges. Easily. Yeah, so would Bridges. I. Now, Bridges. I don't think the Nets are trading to the Knicks. I don't yeah. think that's realistic. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, would I rather have Mitchell or Towns? I'll take Mitchell over town, hey, right? For sure. Even for with sure. the deficiencies, I yeah. do that trade um, before. But yeah. then again, you know, does Devin Booker shake loose? Does Luka Doncic eventually say, you know, the, the Mavs are desperate, dude. Mm. Like, the way they threw yes. our picks around yeah. for, yeah. like, mediocre players at the trade deadline, they are desperate. You know, I think Mitchell ends up coming here. And then, I you do. know, look, here's the thing. Then you can always pivot. Right, you go with Brunson and Mitchell for a year. It doesn't right, work. Right, not like Donovan Mitchell loses trade. Right, value. Maybe, maybe you so send like, him to Phoenix and, and try Booker, and maybe right. that gets or you, you there to closer. Dallas. Right, for right, Luka, right, whatever. Right. You can then pivot and make another decision. But with the Knicks, the way the salaries are set up and everything, the move has to be made this off season. Yes. If Brunson's going to get extended. Julius, who knows? We'll see. So yes, and I think. Remember, Mitchell can play hardball here too, right? And he could say to these teams, "I'm not going to resign with you." Right. That's I'm it. only going to resign with you. And, and part of the question was, where do you think he wants to go? Yeah. I think he's going to want to go to the Knicks. I think he's going to want to go to the Knicks. Or, 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 and who wants? Look, Michael Bridges has went on. I haven't watched, watched it yet. <laughs> oh, this is what fans, I deal with Brunson Nets podcast. He basically samples, calls himself man. a second class citizen, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, why would another team player want to go? And, and willingly, willingly who's accepted like the press it. player for the Nets. <laughs> yeah. The Nets Brooklyn Brigade is in shambles. I woke up this morning and I was thrilled to to see that man. Uh, I agree with you wholeheartedly on on all points. I just feel like that this is just destined to happen. If I had to rank it, like who had the best offers, I got to go with the Knicks, obviously with the with the draft capital and ready now players, right? With with the Nets. Now the Nets need to make a move to keep this guy happy here in Macau Bridges, but. What would they really have? You know, is it Cam Johnson? They do have young players, but Cam Johnson, of the young players, not named Macau Bridges, it's really Cam Johnson. That's, that's your most attractive piece. Now, they did get draft capital back in the KD trade, so they have a little bit more to work with. 
but I'm, I'm not so sure they would be there from a package standpoint. Miami, they did give up a pick for Rozier, so that's one less in their stable. Does Hero, now Now you're hearing that Jovic is untouchable. Who knows? Is a Hero package with uh, minimal picks good enough for Cleveland? Not so sure. And then uh, the Lakers, I don't think the Lakers have enough. Do you think there would be a consideration in putting Randall in that trade to get it done? Because he would fit with Cleveland, right? You put him, yeah. and then maybe it's a three-way deal. They move either Allen, and maybe they move Allen somewhere else, yeah. and then Randall and Mobley in the front court. That's interesting. You could put him with Garland, yeah. and then they run it back. They got draft capital, and they're running a starting lineup of Garland, Julius, maybe Bo- maybe Bogdanovich goes in the trade too, right? Yeah. So they're running out of Garland, Mobley, Julius, Boyan starting lineup. Dude, that's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know because it because it would it would force the Knicks to take a step back. Now I know everybody's ready to put Preston Jewels in, in the Hall of Fame, but like you know, you, you you're putting a big hole at the four, and then you are well, you would have to you would have to either in that three way get something back, get something maybe back. get a, get a four back there yeah, to, to yeah. put in that spot. But honestly, don't you think OG Ananobi can play the four? I would put him there. I would put him there too. Now I, would definitely I don't know him. if he rebounds enough for Tibbs yeah, to play yeah, that spot, and yeah. I think that would be a concern, but. Yeah, I mean, I'd be, I'd, I'd be good with that. And again, I don't think they want to trade Randall. I yeah. don't think they would. I just wonder if that's what the Cavs want to get the trade done. Again, to get the best possible player back to remain competitive. And again, that also alleviates some of the defensive stuff we talked about, right? Yeah. Brunson, Mitchell, Randall together, huge problem tough, defensively. Tough, tough, yeah. But if you yeah. take Randall out of that equation and you put a plus defender in his spot, Maybe you can Stretch work four. a little bit magic Stretch there to four. mitigate the backcourt issues. You know what I mean? So that's the only reason why that's kind of gone over through my head over the past couple of months and thinking about how you can make the Mitchell thing work from a trade package perspective, but also from a fit perspective. You know, if you add a subpar defender, maybe you have to move one of your subpar defenders out. So just something sure, I was thinking point. about. <laughs> 